All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sotko here, and welcome to CPU Mining with Awesome Miner. The last time I touched Awesome Miner, I only told you guys how to set up a GPU mining. I've received a lot of questions about CPU mining, so here we go. If you haven't checked out that old video that I made on Awesome Miner, you should. I go over everything in pretty good detail. So first things first, you're going to need a Mining Pool Hub account. You can do this with other mining pools, but I'm just going to show you this way because this is what I use and I really like it. it has an auto exchange feature so you have to make yourself an account and one of the first things you need to do is go to hub workers and make yourself at least one worker so uh, I happen to have two here but um, my worker is just Mr. Sotko my password I just simply have is X because it doesn't matter what your password is and it's nothing secret so don't worry about that and then we need to once we actually have that account and you have that name down we need to go to electronium and find the mining pool here so if you're in the US if you're in Europe if you're in Asia so I will copy and paste this here and then we bring up awesome miner so I already have my GPU miner set up again the old video shows how to do that but we're this time we're gonna set up just a CPU miner so that we can simultaneously GPU and CPU mine new miner up here uh, to get this started and then you click next and you're gonna go to managed miner and click next again it doesn't matter what you call this but I like to call it CPU miner because this is what will be named right here and it'll be under here so you'll know what it is and then you're gonna click on this and you have to go down to CPU miner opt so we're gonna click on that and then you need to make a new pool and this is where the copy and pasting the server URL there was so click on new pool and again it doesn't matter what you call this just uh, electronium miner because we're gonna set up electronium because it's it's really nice right now uh, and I'll explain it in just a minute and then you need to set up that server URL uh, however when you set up the server URL oh, it's like a tongue twister today uh, type stratum plus TCP and then you put a colon and to I never remember if they're backslashes or forward slashes but please put this just before uh, just before US East kryptonite and I will actually copy and paste this for you guys and put it in the link of the description of the video or rather in the description of the video and you guys can just copy that real quick and slap it on it and then you need to have your worker name so my worker name in on mining pool hub was just Mr. Sotko. So that's what I'm gonna put in here. And your worker password, mine was just X. So put that in as well. And make sure you put in your own name because if you put in this information here, you might be mining on my account. And I thank you for that, but uh, it's not necessarily, ne not necessary that is. And then you wanna go down and click on Electronium here in Kryptonite. And you don't need to put in an address. A wallet address because it already has it it's automatically going to go to uh, mining pool hub and then once you're done with that you can just click next and finish and you should be good to go right off the bat and of course we are not so we'll have to figure out why oh yeah because we have to put in our worker name we have to put in our worker name down there. So in your worker pool here that you made, you actually have to put in your worker name down there. So we're gonna stop that for just one moment. And how I did that was properties, and I do apologize for that. <laughs> one step behind. So once you have your mining pool down here, in your CPU miner, you're gonna you're gonna right click your CPU miner, you're gonna get properties, and you're gonna select that mining pool that you made. It may already be selected, but I called it Electronium Miner. I already have a bunch of them set up, and then you're gonna put in your worker name, Mr. Sotko, or whatever your worker name was. And then when you click start, it will begin working. So yay, I got it. It's okay, everybody. And then all of your CPU threads will start firing up there and crunching away at Electronium. And Electronium right now is not the best in terms of 
the daily profit. Now you can do this another way as well. You can set up Monero mining with Crypto Knight and you can do it the same way. So you would just go to, uh, well, I just click on balances here just to get this list back up and you go down to Monero and grab that. And then you would just set it up as a Monero miner rather than a Electronium miner, if that's what you choose. Now, the reason why I select Electronium is because it's a very low price right now. And at some point, I do suspect that Electronium will go through the roof or rather just increase several fold, making it very profitable to mine now and then sell later. So if you go to balances where you're mining to, so if you've already used Mining Hub, here's your balances. What's going to happen is that your Electronium is actually going to mine into your normal wallet right over here. And it won't auto exchange. So I have auto exchange set up for Litecoin, but the Electronium will not auto exchange. So what you do is go to, what you would normally do is go to manage wallet and then just click on the right side here, which will just turn all of this into the auto exchange wallet. And it takes a couple moments. So when you click, I'll, I can do it right now. It says create a new transfer request. And then you can go back to balances and then eventually when you refresh, maybe a few minutes later, this will actually be over here in the auto exchange wallet. But right now the current exchanges that Mining Pool Hub uses, I do not believe uh, they support Electronium at the moment. So right now you won't be able to cash out your Electronium unless you simply take your Electronium from your wallet over here and pay out to a specific address, maybe a different wallet that you would like to upload to an exchange later on, or, or just directly to a, uh, an exchange or a wallet. So right now, basically in a nutshell, Electronium does not auto exchange. It will be moved to the auto exchange wallet, but it'll just simply sit there. And I have 22 of them right now. And um, we can, uh, I did look this up too. So most people can't auto switch with Electronium, but we can look up Electronium price. And right now it's 15 cents, but at one point it was at, uh, let's see, 22 or so. It's a little hard to get that big graph, that all time graph, about 22 cents. So not too bad. And if this goes to, you know, a dollar or $2 in within a few months or so, having 22 of these would not be too bad because then you could exchange them for 22, $44 or so. So Electronium right now is more just a, a really an investment for the future. And if you want to set it up with Monero that would auto exchange like all the other coins do when you're GPU mining, then that's fine too. You can just simply use my method and then instead of just selecting Electronium, you can just select uh, Monero and it will start mining that and that will actually auto exchange so you can get that money now if you, if that's what you're doing trying to auto exchange it to litecoin or something like that whereas electronium right now is just just mine it and let it sit until more exchanges pick it up and then you can either auto exchange it from that point or set it to an exchange and and, and sell it outright but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i wanted to show you really quick how to cpu mine uh, i because I, I did cover the mining of awesome miner before but just sort of skipped over the cpu mining and just went right to gpu mining but for you cpu users i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time